Beware of what is hidden in fast food joint foods. Some of your favorites from Subway to Chick-fil-A to Pizza Hut to, I got my hands on some more research breaking down and the actual test results of heavy metals hiding in 42 different fast food meals, 20 different fast food joints. I'm talking about breaking down for you the pepperoni and cheese pizza at Pizza Hut to the KFC fried chicken breasts to the Panera bread deli ham sandwich, the Chipotle burrito bowl, the Dunkin' fast food breakfast sandwich, the uh, Burger King Impossible Burger, the Subway cold cut combo, or the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich or the McDonald's Big Mac, all of them tested for heavy metal contents. This is gonna shock you. A buildup of heavy metals in your body, not a good idea. A lot of different foods have heavy metals. They naturally occur in nature. Certain foods are a little bit higher than others, but these, shame on these, fast food joints are ending up in your body by eating this food regularly. This is part two of this little series I'm breaking down for you. So let's dive in. Let me show you exactly what I found with it. The link of heavy metals to these have been linked to Alzheimer's and dementia conditions. They've been linked to making the vessels more calcified and the blood heavy, which can create a lot of buildup in the liver, high ferritin levels, which can lead and increase stroke risk, let alone cause fatty liver disease. So this is very, very important to be addressing. Overdoing heavy metals can create a lot of problems in the system. They are coming from fast food joints, which not only don't have a lot of nutrients in them, they're not showing a lot of benefit. The main culprit behind this is the buildup of these heavy metals in animal-based products. I'm not condoning going vegetarian. I'm saying we just need clean sources of animal meats because I always say you're not what you eat, you're what you eat ate. And the major, major problem is that building up the bioaccumulation of the food chain, you're at the top of the food chain and you eat the cow or the chicken or the pig and then they eat a grass or a grain that has accumulated things in nature and it works its way down, or a fish that then eats a smaller fish that then eats some form of um, shrimp or crustacean that then eats some form of bottom feeder and in the bottom feeders, the bottom of the chain is where these heavy metals sit. I'm talking mercury, I'm talking cadmium, I'm talking lead, and I'm talking arsenic. Too much of any of those, major, major problems. Mercury, the second most toxic substance known to man. Arsenic, something you don't wanna mess with, but a lot of times are given to our livestock. Arsenic specifically given to chickens in order to make them grow faster. It is in their feed. I worked on a chicken farm, dirtiest job I've ever done, by the way, catching thousands of chickens each night. That was my first job. I got paid a little bit of cash. I liked that as a 14 year old and I was able to get my hands dirty in Iowa, earn a little money and eventually pay for my very first car, a 1989 Honda Acura, by the way. So digging into this, how the animals raise, very, very important. We've talked about hormones. We've talked about pesticides. You can see part number one of this series, but now we're digging into the actual test results of the heavy metals. Let me show you the data. Here it is. So breaking this down, tons of your favorites, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, KFC, In-N-Out Burger, Panera, Jack in the Box, Chipotle, Popeyes, Sonic, Little Caesars, Dunkin', Panda Express, Dairy Queen, Wendy's, Domino's, Burger King, Starbucks, Subway, Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, and Arby's. If you live off that stuff, pay attention to this. They tested them for multiple different heavy metals, arsenic, cadmium, mercury, and lead, as I said. 100% of the fast food samples, because they did usually two different orders of common foods at each of these joints, they found that 100% of the food samples contain alarming levels of cadmium. Right here, cadmium, you can see this is highlighted in the light orange, meaning we got a problem, we have a problem. And they're very, very high. The highest being that Chipotle Carnita Bowl with everything on it. I'm gonna show you how you can alter that and what you could be possibly ordering there because this is lower in the amounts of hormones found out of all of these foods on here, Chipotle was, but we got a lot of heavy metals. So there's goods and bads with every single fast food joint. Cadmium is highly carcinogenic and can cause toxic reactions even at low levels if it builds up in your body. The In-N-Out French fries, the in and <laughs> if you're eating at an In-N-Out, the In-N-Out French fries, high level of it. 1,158% higher levels of cadmium than what the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, would allow in drinking water. But somehow when it ends up in your burger, then it's okay. Figure that one out. Continuing on a couple of the highlights, the Jack in the Box fries, very high, 970% higher with these fries here as well at a five. But you can imagine then Chipotle is double that. 2000% more cadmium in that carnita bowl with everything in it. How do we order it? What do we need to do? More on that in a second. Now, we also looked 
They also did in the study, this was done and driven by Moms Across America. The heavy metal analysis was done at the Health Research Institute and they submitted these for heavy metal testing. Now, heavy metals naturally occur in some foods, right? But we wanna know alarming high levels. The second thing that they tested was lead. Now lead, even at low levels, can lead to children having intelligent levels issues. Now, even lead at low levels can eat, lead to ADHD concentration problems and developmental issues in our children. They have a tough time learning. Even if there's low levels of lead inside of their blood, it's not something we're wanting to have. That's why we switched from lead pipes to more of a plastic PVC pipe because the lead leached into the water. So if you still have an old house, you're probably getting some of this. If you still have really old toys, it was in the paint back in the day. Now it's in the fast food burgers. Case in point, let's go to Sonic. Sonic on the chart right here. The cheeseburger, super high levels, 10.34. That's 912% higher than what the EPA would allow in your drinking water. But it's allowed at Sonic's cheeseburger. Wow, I don't understand this. That's a lot of lead going in. Third main heavy metal tested, arsenic. Arsenic was tested and found high in 17% of the fast food items tested. Of the 42 different items at the 20 different fast food joints, 17% of them have high levels of arsenic that are unacceptable. Arsenic, the top two topping the charts, the worst top two of all time. Number two, Panda Express, orange chicken plus white rice, 16.42 it came in at. The number one spot, just above that, the, the beef and broccoli wasn't much better, but the number one spot, the carnita bowl with everything, 17.36. My advice, if you're gonna eat at a Panda Express, if you're going to eat at a Chipotle, skip the rice in that scenario. It ends up being much higher in arsenic a lot of times if it's not properly sourced, which this isn't. That's probably where a lot of it's coming from. There could have been some added, the carnita being pork. Normally you'll see it in the feed of chicken. This is why it's very important to have pasture raised chicken, allow them to roam and eat bugs the way they're supposed to. But the pig will eat about anything. And so arsenic can build up in that pork very quickly, as well as in beef, as we saw with the orange chicken and the beef. But focus on the rice there. Skip the rice. You'll be cutting out a few carbs. You're still going to enjoy a bowl. It is a lot lower and the best when it comes to hormones being in it for Chipotle. The problem I have with Panda Express is the linoleic acid. This is another big, 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 big problem. I wanna make sure that you get linoleic acid is a rancid oil. If we use lots of linoleic acid and it shows up in grains, soybeans, we're talking corn, we're talking those types of grains being fed to our livestock, that increases the amount of linoleic acid built up in their muscle tissue, which then you eat it. And then when you fry it, like you do at Panda Express, you're increasing it even more because linoleic acid is also peanut oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, and you're frying in these types of oils. Now you're doubling down on linoleic acid. You're getting it from the meat you're eating and you're getting on the type of oil you're cooking with. That is more congestive and more dangerous to, than sugar in this country because it congests the cells. It takes 600 days to get out of your body. The number one health change you could make right now is eliminating rancid oils from your diet. What do I stick to? Coconut oil, olive oil, avocado oil. Pretty much that's it. I don't heat the olive very hot. If I gotta heat something more hot, I use avocado or coconut. Those are the oils I stick with because you can squeeze the actual nut or in this case, an olive, and what comes out is the oil. That's naturally occurring, very stable, lots of double bonds, it's saturated so it's double bonded and then it doesn't go rancid. As soon as you heat it and smoke it, you make a good oil bad. These rancid oils, one of the number one things you can focus on for cutting it out. Let's go back to the studies. That number with Panda Express, 362% higher than the EPA would allow in your drinking water. Chipotle even higher than that, approaching 380% higher than what they would allow. So why does this become a problem? By the way, when you look at the column with Merck Mercury, there was none detected. Thank God we don't have the second most toxic substance known to man floating around inside of our meat. Did you used to play, crack the thermometer open and play with the mercury when you were little? Woo! I know you're still here. However, we can do better by avoiding these types of things. I know you don't want to freak out. I know you may eat some of these foods still, but you've got to be aware of some of them that have really high content to stay away from those. That's what I'm trying to highlight here or eat it less often and turn to real food, turn to meats that don't use hormones, don't use these types of heavy metals, and they actually feed the animal what it's supposed to be fed. The more that you do that, 
the better your health is going to be. Let's dig further. How do you know if you have a problem with cadmium? Maybe you're exposed to it too much. You can actually look to see if you have heavy metal problems by going to more of a functional doctor that's going to test your hair and then they can see if cadmium or lead or mercury or any of these show up. Aluminum is another really popular one. And now with that knowledge, you can know maybe it's explaining some of your symptoms like cadmium really related to nausea, diarrhea, abdomen, cramping, or the feeling like you have to have a bowel movement but nothing comes out. That's warning signs that cadmium's a problem. Lead being an issue, we really see this start to show up in nervous system related disorders. So you start to think about an MS, you start to think about a Parkinson's or an Alzheimer's. Is there a connection there with the heavy metal lead being built up in those tissues, not allowing them to conduct the way they're supposed to because metal is a conductor because lead being a metal can mess up conductivity in the body. Slow growth, slow development, learning behavioral disorders, hearing and speech problems. This can be tied in. My dad had a major problem with this. He lost his hearing, started to lose his eyesight, had a bunch of heart problems. This was one of the factors, lead and mercury being in his system, leached over the years, built up. Did it contribute? Absolutely, we went through some detoxification processes to get it out. Arsenic, been tied to many different conditions in the body. It can affect the nervous system, the respiratory, um, the skin, the immune, the endocrine, the hepatic. So a lot of symptoms of this, drowsiness, headaches, confusion, and then severe diarrhea. Unexplained reasons for that, doctor can't figure it out. Maybe you have heavy metal issues. You might wanna look into finding more of a functional doctor that could test these things. And then to properly get it leached out, involves someone that has a specialty in actually doing that. The best thing we can all do though, is avoid putting it in in the first place. Picking the right type of fast food is going to get you there. So I would skip the rice if you're going to Chipotle. It still performs better at the hormone test. Watch out for the lead side of things. I would probably skip the pork. Pigs eat about everything. So I would lean more towards chicken or beef in this scenario. Chick-fil-A's chicken sandwich and nuggets actually checked out good as far as heavy metals. They were high in cadmium still though, but low on this list. But there is a lot of hormones associated with that and it can be a not so good. Couple other ones that scored pretty good when you look down through the list, actually fried chicken breast at KFC, so chicken itself was much better, although you're gonna get a lot of rancid oils with that. If we keep going down, we've actually got a Dunkin' Glazed Donuts that doesn't have a lot of heavy metals. However, it's got a bunch of sugar and it's got a bunch of rancid oils to be watching out for. And then when you go all the way down to Chick-fil-A, they actually scored pretty good for their chicken sandwiches and their chicken nuggets, but they do have a lot of hormones associated with it. And a lot of you are like, no, my Chick-fil-A, or no, my Carnita Chipotle. Well, you want to look at heavy metals. You also wanna look at a hidden hormone that is given to our livestock that is now ending up in you. To see that viral video that has hundreds of thousands on its way to millions of views, check this out as a next step resource. And you can always look for some grocery store tours where I take you through the meat section and the produce section to help pick the right vegetables to be able to start cooking some of these things at home and going the right direction with your health. You're not what you eat. You're what you eat, eight. Check out this video about the other side of what to be aware with these top fast food chains right now. See you soon.